वेलकम डियर व्यूवर्स टू द वीडियो ऑन नाइट्रोसामाइन लिमिट कैलकुलेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द नाइट्रोसामाइन लिमिट कैलकुलेशन फॉर द न्यू नाइट्रोसामाइन इम्प्यूरिटीज एंड ऑल्सो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम वेयर दीज नाइट्रोसामाइन लिमिट्स आर टेकन और फ्रॉम वेयर दीज नाइट्रोसामाइन इम्प्यूरिटी लिमिट्स आर डिराइव so you might be known about the nitrosamine impurities these are the impurities which which are having mutagenic and carcinogenic tendency and these are known to be causing or having risk of cancer so these are very potent and these have very stringent limits so we are talking about the limits for the nitrosamines from where these nitrosamine limits are derived so first terminology is the acceptable intake that is ai limits or ai limit values for the nitrosamine impurities basic guideline for nitrosamine or mutagenic impurities is ics guideline m7 which is assessment and control of dna reactive or mutagenic impurities in pharmaceuticals to limit potential carcinogenic risk that is ich m7 and second is by the us fda guideline control of nitrosamine impurities in human drugs ema guidelines are also there envisa guidelines are also there so country specific and regulatory body specific guidelines are also there for the nitrosamine impurities i have referred these two guidelines for making the information information and this video so second is the td50 value first terminology is acceptable intake second terminology in this video is td50 value so what is td50 so td50 is the concentration of the impurity or level of the impurity which can induce tumor in 50% of the population out of the total population so if you have taken 100 animals in the study for carcinogenic study of impurity so you have to find out the concentration or dose chronic dose of the impurity which can induce tumor in 50% of the population so that dose or that level will be the td50 value the concentration or level of impurity which can induce the tumor in 50% of the animals out of 100 dosed now a compound specific ai limit can be calculated based on the rodent carcinogenic carcinogenicity potency data such as the dose resulting in a 50% tumor incidence that is the td50 value identified in the public literature so these td50 values can be derived from the toxicity studies also some literature can give you the td50 value of specific impurity now the td50 is the dose resulting in a 50% tumor incidence are equivalent to cancer risk probability level of 1 is to 2 so that is 50% tumor incidence now you have the value of td50 that means the level of impurity or concentration of the impurity or dose of the impurity which leads to the tumor in 50% of the population now if you do linear extrapolation to the probability of 1 in 1 lakh species that is 1 in 1 lakh species that is the acceptable lifetime risk level used so you have to simply calculate the you have to divide the td50 
by 50,000. Linear extrapolation to probability of 1 in 1 lakh species, that is, the accepted lifetime risk level used is achieved by simply dividing the TD50 by 50,000. The AI limit in milligram, that is, mg per kg per day units, can then be converted to mg per day by multiplying the human body weight. See here, it is very simple to calculate. Now, understand that TD50 value is based on to the animal study data. Now, you have TD50 value that is 50% tumor incidence. But you want 1 in 1 lakh species a risk level. So divide the TD50 by 50,000. Now this value is to be extrapolated to the human body weight and generally human body weight is considered as a 50 kg for normal adult human being. Now this is the calculation formula given in the guidelines for calculating the AI in mg per day using the TD50 value or TD50 data. So TD50 is available in mg per kg per day into 50 kg divided by 50,000. Linear extrapolation from TD50 value is considered appropriate to derive an AI limit of ICH as per ICH guideline M7 class 1 impurities with no established threshold mechanism. So you can consider here it is a new nitrosamine impurity. You have TD50 value. So you can use that data to calculate the acceptable intake limit. So AI limit for the M7 class 1 impurities. Now see what is the ICH M7 class 1 impurity. The definition of class 1 impurity as per ICH M7. So it is a class 1 impurity known is having known mutagenic carcinogen. It is a known muta, mut, mutagenic carcinogen applicable to the nitrosamines also. Now you know the formula of calculation of AI. You can get TD50 values from literatures like database are there, carcinogenicity potency database, LASA carcinogenicity database or you can do the toxicity studies and get the TD50 value. So always understand AI limit is as per the cancer risk of 1 in 1 lakh species and you can extrapolate the values. Now, AI is equal to TD50 into 50 kg divided by 50,000. So, classic example of anitrosamine impurity I have taken that is the NDMA impurity. TD50 value for NDMA are 0.0959 mg per kg per day for rat as per the carcinogenic potency database. So I have taken that value. I have multiplied it by 50. So now I have a value of 0 0.475 mg per day for the human. Now I have to divide it by 50,000 and it is giving me 95.9 nanogram per day as a intake limit. So this limit is coming from the TD50 value. This is applicable to the new nitrosamine limit calculations also. See, nitrosamines are the impurities which are having 
mutagenic and carcinogenic potential so these are treated as ICH as per ICH M7 guideline as class 1 impurities so you don't get confused between those, these two terminologies use the simple calculation for AI by the formula of TD50 TD50 into 50 divided by 50,000 so this is regarding the nitrosamine limit calculation you may also have some stringent impurities limits derived based on to the TD50 values understanding the nitrosamine impurities is very much important and it is a very essential thing in today's pharmaceutical industry we should try to understand much more about the nitrosamine impurity calculations from where these limits are coming how these are derived i hope you have got good idea about this nitrosamine limit calculation so you can also learn by using some simple td50 values for the nitrosamines and you can do some exercises to understand it in detail so thank you for watching the video and i request you to do like share and subscribe to pharma learning in depth channel thank you